Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. In this session, we want to define styles globally so that we can use them on all pages. By doing this, we no longer write duplicate code on each page. And with the change in the global style, we can make changes on all pages. In the previous session, we learned how to use custom fonts. If we want to use custom fonts throughout the project or give a specific style to the text, we have to do this separately on each page. And by doing so, we have to use duplicate code in the project. Also, if we want to make a change on all pages, for example, change the font of all texts, we have to make this change on all pages, which is time consuming depending on the size of the project. For this reason, we must create a file of commonly used styles and use it on all pages. Well, let's first create an order in the structure of the files to make them easier to access in the project. File structuring is more important in larger projects. Inside the source folder, I create a folder called screens and a folder called utils. Move the screen files to the screens folder. This file was a custom header that we no longer need because we use the React Navigation header. This file was a custom button that I will move it to the Utils folder for later use. Well, with the moves we made, the app gives us an error because the path of the files changed. So I modify their address according to the new folder. Now I will create the desired file for styling in the utils folder named global style. In this file I use a style sheet to create the style object I want. I create a style called custom font and put only font family in it. For example, I want to use this font as a text font in the app. Well, at the end, I export a style sheet so that I can use it outside of this file. Here I want to add the font I defined to this style. First, I import global style. Now I turn the text style into an array of style objects and use custom font as one of its items. Well, as you can see, custom font is only applied to the text. Repeat this for a screen B. We have defined part of the style globally here. Now suppose we want to use the style of part of the app in the same way. For example, we define button styles in global style so that all app buttons can use it. Instead of the previous style, we use the global style we defined for the button. This button was for a screen B. And we do the same for the screen A button. Now with the change in the global style file, we can make changes on all pages. For example, I change the font of the buttons and it affects both screens. Or for example, increase the font size. We can also use global style in Expo projects. But with this method, we can't define fonts globally because fonts must first be loaded in a component. To use fonts globally in Expo projects, we can create a custom text component like the custom button we created earlier and use the font in it. 
and wherever we want to use text in the app, we can use custom text component instead. So there we go, we learned how to use global styles. So in the next video, we will talk about async storage. Now if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session.